In the age between five and six, the dressage horse, after past successful the L class, is ready to develop the next step. This is the dressage class M. We teach the horse the work on two tracks to make him equal bended on both sides. In canter, the horse learns the flying changes. Collection and impulsion will be more developed. The horse is growing up to the level of the dressage class M. But to develop it, we start as with all other horses equal how old they are with loosening works outside of the dressage ring. By the way, we pass the Cavalettis a work the horses are accustomed to from the former training and you see how easy this looks and how self-confident the horse passes these cavalettis watching his step and then we turn and do it again before we go further on with a Lightning work. We go on the race track and around the dressage ring on the grass part just to supple the horse and prepare him for the second part of the dressage training in the ring. Never forget the horse is coming out from a stable where it normally is 23 hours in and is happy to come out and is natural, fresh from a part of stiffness which is coming from 23 hours in the stable and the rider must allow the horse to walk, trot and canter free before we ask further things, special the dressage movements which brings us in the dressage class M. Long and deep we call this trot work. The horse stretches his neck on the ground. The rider sits and waits and allows the horse to jump a little bit around when there is something to look at. The serious part of the words follows anyway and there's more freedom you give the horse in this part of loosening work as more the horse trusts you later and is ready for the serious part. Of course, the further trained horse normally is sooner supple and sooner relaxed for the dressage work but also this depends on the blood on the temperament and on the freshness of the horse and what it has done the days before and this all the rider must find out every day before he starts to train the horse in the dressage ring. Here we see already that the horse is supple, that the back swings, that the neck has a tendency to stretch forward downwards 
and so we can stop it and we can go with loose reins in the dressage Here now starts the second part of the training lesson and we normally start with trot work, sitting now, bringing the horse on the bit, trying transitions, trot work, trot to bring the hindquarters more under, taking more weight behind. Before we then get the horses accustomed with the two track work, the preparation for this is a volte where you bring the inside bending and now after the short side we will see a half pass to left the horse goes parallel to the long ball, to the middle line, and that the horse doesn't lose rhythm. You see here, the rider refreshes the gait in rising before changing and trying the other side. First, a volte to the right to bring the horse in the right flexion and then after the next short side half past to the right. Let's watch it. Good bend it. The horse looks in the direction where it goes, goes parallel remains rhythm of trot better than on the other hand. And after this, develop medium or extended trot, rising, and you must know the half pass work is not to collect the horse more, it is to prepare it for further development, the movements in extension and medium and if this not is a result of two track work the two track work was wrong good floating trot movements after this we try collected lessons here we saw quite a good full stop with a closed hind legs and we will watch now some other movements, another full stop, you see, very good. Behind, back with little resistance against the hand, but the hind quarters were very good under. Now we see the walk, medium walk now, and one of the most difficult thing here, extended walk, that means most extension out of the shoulder, so it starts following by good forward stepping hindquarters, which should step over, and a long neck, but under control, not loose reins. This is the extended walk. Back to medium walk. Collect him to canter on. And we come to the third gate, the canter. First thing the rider watches is, make the horse straight and don't shorten the canter too early and when you feel the horse right on your eight you can concentrate 
on movement to develop more. We will see now down the center line a good straight working canter. Still a little bit harrying and the rider now goes on the circle to collect more the canter and we watch how this works. You smaller the circle, risk to come back nearly up to a little volta and the moment you feel that the horse carries the weight and comes back you try to make the circle larger than, develop forward movements and that's it, you see? Good. The neck of the horse here a little bit resists, but this forward riding, this brings the impulsion. Now the movement is fresh, the horse is on the bit, is on the aids, and the rider can concentrate to teach the horse the flying change, what it has to learn now in the class M. What we see is one way of teaching the horse a flying change, doing a half pass, coming on the wall, and the moment it is on the wall straight, you see, the rider gives the aid to change, and normally the horse surprisingly will change the lead, even if it doesn't know it. But then it's important to collect the canter again because the horse could be nervous now and could have the tendency to run. Why? Because it has learned something new. So now the rider collects the canter, brings the hindquarters under, brings any tension out which could have come now from the new lesson and when everything is fixed forward, backward, forward, backward, contact, everything is okay then the horse is ready for the change to the other hand. Let's watch it. The rider feels now she has first to go forward and a little bit you can see in the canter stride still that the horse knows something is new what I don't know so a bit tension if you watch careful is there and look how clever the rider managed the next change see just changes the direction and the horse changed and it looked like the horse would know already on both sides the flying changes but this only because a very experienced rider made it and made it in the way that the horse confident the rider and was well prepared. Another half pass to the right Good bandit. The horse, you see, expected to change. Legs were good. The neck was a bit crooked. What did the rider? Just gave the reins in and the piece is there. There you can see how important it is for a rider to be cool and experienced enough just in the beginning when you teach the horses the flying changes. You see here the horses waits again. Rider is clever. And there we are. And if you don't pull now and be ready with your hands 
to be light. The moment the tension comes, you trick the horse out. You see now the rider can risk to give the reins. The horse is proud about what it has done. Can does in self carriage. Without reins, the rider remains in seat. The horse full balanced out, happy, relaxed, has learned something new, and I bet for sure the next day the rider will have no problems because everything what was done today was done in peace.